Hello and welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the use of superglue for work holding in the milling machine. You may have seen me use this technique on the lathe in my other videos. Most milling machine jobs are held on the mill table either by a combination of bolts and clamps or by using a machine vise. But there are sometimes milling jobs that present a work holding challenge. One option for light work is to glue the work to an aluminium fixture. This allows access to the upper surfaces and edges of the workpiece to be machined at the same setting. A few examples will give you the idea, and I would stress that this method is not going to be suitable for heavy duty work. The first example is using a fixture in the vise. The task is to machine a small steel plate square on all its edges. This would be a fiddly job to clamp to the mill table, so it is glued to a fixture held in the vise. Once the fixture is clamped in the vise, some shallow grooves are machined in the top surface to allow air to circulate and help the glue to set. The top surface is then skimmed flat with an end mill. Next, the mating surfaces of the fixture and the workpiece are thoroughly cleaned with isopropanol. And the workpiece is super glued to the fixture and held until the glue has set. The glue will grab very quickly but may take a few minutes to harden. With the work secured, machining can be completed. The glue will give a very secure hold if the job has been prepared properly, although getting too crazy with the feed rate or depth of cut is not recommended as the work will heat up and the glue will melt. When finished, the work can be separated from the fixture by prying it off with a screwdriver or by hitting it sharply with a hammer, protecting the work from damage. It can also be removed by heating gently with a blowtorch to soften the glue. If the fixture is to be reused, a further skim will remove all glue residue and leave it ready to go again. The second example is a fixture on the mill table. This is a different approach where a larger fixture is clamped to the mill table. The workpiece is a thicker aluminium block that needs to be squared and have two countersunk holes machined into it. In this case, the fixture is sacrificial as it will be cut into by the mill and the drill. For this example, the fixture previously used now becomes the workpiece, so it already has the grooves machined into its bottom surface. Otherwise, the new fixture would need to be grooved before gluing the two together. The squaring operations are completed first, followed by the drilling, before the workpiece is freed from the fixture by a hefty hammer blow.
The last example is a fixture on the rotary table. The final test is an arc-shaped component from thin sheet aluminium. This was made using the rotary table to ensure accuracy, and as with the other examples, it is super glued to a fixture that is itself bolted to the rotary table. Given the thinness of the sheet material and its awkward shape, there aren't too many other ways to hold this workpiece which don't involve cutting it from a much larger sheet of material, and none that I can think of that are as convenient and satisfactory as the glue method. For this example, I wanted to prove the use of a plywood fixture and see whether the glue would hold, but I was surprised by how much force was needed to remove the workpiece after machining all edges. Again, I used the hammer method and the clamping bolts shifted before the workpiece would let go. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave a comment or a question down below. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell so you'll know next time I upload a video. See you next time.